In this world of globalization, people are getting more demanding and everyone are requesting for high quality products and services. In order to gain the market and maximizing the profit, every organization are striving for the better quality products and services. To achieving this high level of quality, organizations should emphasize the quality management, quality control, and quality assurance. Quality management is an action of controlling all the activities and tasks so that the company's products and services can always maintain in the excellent quality level. This quality management includes the determination of quality policies, creating and implementing the quality planning and assurance, and quality control and improvement. So, it can be said that the quality assurance and quality control are parts of the quality management. Quality management also refers to total quality management. Total quality management seeks the organization as a collection of processes and is emphasized on the continuous improvement of the processes. Continuous improvement must not only with improving the results, but more importantly with improving the capabilities to produce the better results in the future. For the quality control and quality assurance, quality control is a process to make sure all the quality their products and services can be maintained or even improve and reducing or even eliminating the manufacturing errors. This quality control may require the organization to cultivate an environment and mindsets that everyone in the organization need to fight for the target of zero defects. This can be done by sending their employees for training, creating the benchmark for the product's quality and test for the products to check for statistically significant variation. It is important to establish a well-defined control so that it can help to limiting the rooms of error. For quality assurance, it is a methodology that used in development of products and services that ensure a level of quality products and services. Quality assurance emphasizes on the process and procedures that monitoring the different aspects of the process to defect and correct the problems of variation that meet the predetermined standards or requirements. In most of the company, different departments or divisions may play their important roles in implementing the quality assurance so that to ensure that the company can produce an excellent quality products or services that may help to build the positive reputation and increase the competency in the market. The most significant difference between the quality control and quality assurance is that Quality control is more focused on whether the products or services has fulfilled the quality requirements or not. On the other hand, the quality assurance is more concentrated on the processes of developing a good quality products and services. In this video, we are going to do the case study about the usage of quality control, quality assurance and quality management in the automobile industry. There are many automotive companies such as Toyota, Peugeot, Mishimishi, Ford, Mazda, and many more. However, we are going to study on how the quality control, quality assurance, and quality management contribute to a better quality of Honda cars so that to achieve the customer satisfaction and to achieve the new targets of sales. This is because from the statistic, we can observe that the sales of Honda cars keeps increasing and reach the highest in the year of 2017. We are interested to know how they achieved this target and what is the effort that has been done. Honda is a large multinational corporation in Japan and it was established in the year of 1948. According to the 2016 performance reports of Honda, Honda had produced 99% of perfect products. This means that they still have 1% of defects products. However, Honda are very concerned about this 1% of defections and they wish to even eliminate the chances for their customer to getting the 1% of defects products. In order to achieve this target, they are aiming for 120% of products quality. Honda had created a quality cycle to achieve the 120% product quality. This quality cycle includes the design and development department, production preparation department, production, testing and inspection department and sales and service department. These departments uh, work with each other in order to achieve the high quality cars.
quality cycle start to enhance the quality from design and development department as design and development department is essential starting to initiate a good quality product. Honda always upgrade their product or design a new product. Although all the product go through the same manufacturing process, in order to design or develop a product, the R&D department of Honda is tasked with producing product drawing and evaluate them based on the feature, efficiency, and ease of producing as well as to find change. The engineers will then check the technical errors according to the database that contain historical information and take corrective measure. The R&D department of Honda had created a drawing that will ease the production process and reduce the process variability and prevent the human errors. In addition to contributing ideas during the design and creation of drawings, the production department is also tasked with providing checking program and set of criteria for these options to mitigate the risk about quality. Besides, Honda used a number of special quality control process to collect recommendations and to provide appropriate methods. For example, Honda conduct regular inspections of quality standards at the supplier permits. When discovering a problem, they will dialogue with their supplier to share information and cooperate to improve the quality. Honda also apply and redesign their model into a rigorous process to test the quality before mass production with thousands of tests on every detail of the product. For production testing and inspection department, the production department of Honda had established the manufacturing control item and criteria for each part, process and operations to prevent the product quality issue. The engineer used the manufacturing control item and criteria to verify the manufacturing variability. Honda manufacturing department had used a system called Line End Tester to test the quality of electronic system. Initially, the system was only used to test the cleaning and emission system. After that, the LET was expanded to meet the environmental requirement and create a comfortable driving experience for customers. Thanks to these revolutions, human quantitative assessment activity has been replaced by quantitative testing through connection to electronic control device of greater accuracy and confidence. Furthermore, Honda will visit to their part supplier manufacturing sites to audit for their production preparations and mass production stage. After the audits, Honda will communicate with the supplier to share about the audit results and discuss for quality improvements. Honda will also assure the long-term reliability through the meticulous durability testing. Several thousand checks will be conducted for those new and redesigned models to make sure that there is no quality issue before sending the models for mass production. For sales and service department, customer first operations was established based on a combination of service and quality assurance to improve the efficiency of Honda service worldwide. The main objective of this unit is to give customer the most satisfaction by experiencing its service. Customer First Operations has set out three major policies. They not only develop a progressive business service space, but also provide convenient, reliable service to maximize and improve business performance. Customer Relation Center had also been established in Japan to handle problems from Honda customer politely, clearly, and quickly. They will also conduct customer survey to measure the customer satisfaction level, and Honda will make further improvement based on the feedback from the survey. In addition, they also emphasize on the principle of respect of the individual and the three joys, which is the joy of buying, the joy of selling, and the joy of creating. Honda work in partnership with dealer to increase customer satisfaction to allow them to continue handling the product with confidence at every stage, from purchase to after sale service, ensuring that high level of satisfaction is provided to customer at all times. Quality control tools used in collecting and analyzing data, identifying root causes and measuring the results. 
These tools are related to numerical data processing, which can provide great process tracking and analysis that are useful for quality improvement. These tools make quality improvement easier to see, implement, and track. All these tools are important due to its effectiveness in solving problems Therefore, they are used widely at manufacturing field to monitor the overall operation and continuous process improvement. The modes of defects on production line are investigated through direct observation on the production line and statistical tools. So, Honda company adapts and applies the basic 7QC tools to solve the problem encountered in their company. The 7QC tools used are cost and effect diagram. Parator diagram, check sheets, scatter diagram, histogram, stratification, and X bar chart. Honda use cost effect diagram and parator diagram to do analysis in the plan section of the PDCA cycle so that they could plan and decide an action to solve the root cause and problems that found in order to achieve the objective of their company. The check sheet enables the Honda employee collect their data to compile it in the simplest way. It is a spreadsheet that includes guidance and procedure which enables the operator to follow the task and execute inspection and record data before moving on from one process to another. Additionally, the collected data from the check sheet can be used as input data for other seven quality control tools as well. At the same time, the scatter diagram is used by Honda company to determine and analyze the relationship between the two variable combinations. For example, they use scatter diagram to check the nugget size of spot welding and thickness of paint so as to make sure their works are actually satisfying to the defined standards. The stratification is a method of dividing data into subcategories and classified data based on group division, class or level that help in deriving meaningful information to understand an existing issue. The X bar chart is to determine the process given output is stable and predictable. If there is a plot of data out of the upper control limit and lower control limit, then they will immediately investigate the problem so as to prevent the condition become worse at time. Besides that, the data obtained in the production can also be used to determine the process capability index for the process. Meanwhile, the histogram is used for breaking out process data into regions or bins for determining frequencies of certain events or categories of data. So now comes to the end of our video presentation. Let me summarize the overall finding of our assignment topics. The 120% of product quality practice is very suitable approach for Honda to achieve the customer satisfaction. Honda has good customer service after sales and always try to solve customer problems. Honda has well organized company and every department cooperate with each other to work together to foresee and solve the problems. Honda also utilizes the quality control tools that can help them to find the variation in production. Honda even show their concern to the small amount of customer which may receive the defective product and keep strive for totally zero defect target so that they can fully gain the trust and support of their customer. Honda can benchmark the other competitors to compare with them and realize the inadequacy in them, achieve higher customer satisfaction, and last, achieve new level of products quality and higher sales.